the life of Lord Mahavira, continue fasting to rescue Chandana, part one of five, on between master and disciples, given in Chinese and English on December first, two thousand nineteen, in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. <笑>啊我現在為什麼世界有男孩子哦我也有過那些了啊啊你們女孩子就抬不動了哈囉你好對不起我眼睛不怎麼理想所以這樣哈戴著眼睛還可以看到嗎看到眼睛哈<笑> OK 啊, love you. <笑> 嗯。男孩子越來越多一點點,哈。竞争力,哈,OK。你好。你好。好。<笑> 大陆、越南、嗯、OK。哎，哈喽。哈喽。啊，你好。吉祥，吉祥。吉祥，吉祥。哦。哎，就这里有声，大家读书都看得到啊。<笑> <嗯。笑> 有哈。I am very, very impressed the way you're running your life. <笑> I don't know how you do it every day. <笑> I only do it one Sunday and I feel very, very <笑> effortful already. How do you do all this every day? Huh? You go to work and you come back, you cook, you wash, you shop, you kiss a husband, you kiss a wife, you go to bed, you <laughs> kiss the children, <laughs> and you mow, mow <laughs> your grass, you water your garden. Oh, you're doing all that? How you do all this? Huh? And every day, right? I mean, every day you go to work, but you come back, you do another work, huh? And you survive, huh? And you still meditate two and a half hours a day? No. Two and a half, um, maybe hours, yeah? <laughs> wow. No wonder, very difficult to go up, huh? Yeah. The Buddha, when he was alive, uh, his disciples, all monks, yeah? Two thousand strong, two thousand plus. Everybody do nothing, no working, no wife, no kids, no worry. Oh, I don't need this, right? Can you still see me? No? Yeah, you can see me. My eye hurt, my nose running. As soon as I say, okay, I have to go, I mean I have to come here. And my nose start running, <laughs> my eyes start to hurt. Ah, last time, last time wasn't too bad. But the initiation karma comes uh, after, slowly. Sometimes it comes before, sometimes it comes right at the day of initiation, sometimes it comes half or quarter beforehand, and it come during the initiation, then come some more after. Sometimes it comes after. And, uh, wow, I truly make an effort to come here with all this 
cravat and everything. <laughs> I think I'm super woman. <laughs> Consider. <laughs> Consider how I felt. <laughs> yeah, I was really trying to bargain, you know. I keep asking everybody, how many people, how many Westerners, how many new people, anybody who did not see me before and stay for a little while, maybe another few days or another week, you know, I'm bargaining, trying to see if maybe I can see them tomorrow or next day when I feel better. But no, somebody's going tomorrow. Yeah, two or three of them, and then the, another two go next days, and another five go another day. <laughs> I lose, you win, you win, you win. Okay, I think I want, maybe it's better, all of you shave your head and become like this for me. Then every day I send all of you go out, walk in to go for arm and then come back and I take a siesta <laughs> already and then I wake up, I talk to you. Mm. Then I will also shave my head again just to accompany you so you don't feel, <laughs> you don't feel too bad. <laughs> anyway, there's not much I can do, yeah. Sometimes, uh, I can get out of samadhi easily, sometimes I cannot. And it's very difficult to get out when I cannot get out, <laughs> like today, <laughs> like today. Today I'm like a walking, talking, uh, automaton, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> okay, well, I'm here already, so let's get down to the business. Okay, yeah, I think today I was doing some makeup and try to button something, you know, or hook up something, you know, and put on my jewelry or whatever, and then this thing don't work, that hook doesn't work. And it's <laughs> some uh, button is too new, it doesn't clap on the other one. The trousers don't fit or whatever, and the shoes open mouth and laughing at me. <laughs> and new shoes. Not this one, not this one. This one is, is another one. This is the old one, yeah. In the old time, when people make shoes, it lasts a long time, eh? a lifetime. Today, many of my shoes keep open mouth and laughing. Maybe happy shoes. <laughs> Before I design some clothes, say, uh, happy yogi, right? <laughs> and now uh, they uh, mm, imitate me, they design these uh, happy shoes, <laughs> happy yogi shoes or something. This one look better, I can see you. Mm. I, I just need to, a little bit uh, bigger to read, but I could also read like this. Just with the glass, it's easier, that's all, reading glass. Yeah, consider my age, my eyes still not too bad, you know? When it's been um, harassed all <laughs> these years, it's still not bad, eh? Yeah. Thanks to Kuan Yin Method. <laughs> yeah. So then when I was doing all this uh, dressing up and button down, and then I was thinking, oh, uh, Shekamuni Buddha, he was so right. He was so right, he say. Only man can become Buddha, be happy, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> yeah. I guess if you are man, you cannot also become Buddha, you also cannot become Buddha. You know why? I told you before already. If you are man, you cannot become Buddha. If you are woman, you cannot become Buddha. If you are uh, gay, you cannot become Buddha. If you're lesbian, you cannot become Buddha. If you're bisexual, you cannot become Buddha. Nobody can. <laughs> Only if you don't remember anymore that you're man or woman or bisexual or uh, lesbian or, or gay or transvestite or not transvestite, or, uh, you transformed yourself. And then you really transcend all this, then you can become Buddha. Yeah. But I was thinking of a physical way, you know. 
Men, you don't even have to wear anything. You just show up, <laughs> right? <laughs> In India, many guru, eh, some enlightened guru also didn't wear much. Some I saw, you know, didn't wear much. Yeah, or maybe just a lawn cloth or something, or just wrap something. Oh, how convenient, eh? And then I can do away with all these uh, Cinderella shoes, yeah, and then all this uh, jewelry and all that stuff, yeah. Yeah, then it will be very convenient, time-saving. I thought Sekamuni Buddha was so right. Yeah, if I was a man, it would be better for me. I can always show up in anything or nothing even. Yeah, you know, right? Indian people, you know, right? A guru, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. And if I don't look, suppose I am a man, and if I don't look as beautiful as I am right now, <laughs> all I do is just grow some hair on the face, then I will look okay, right? Look dignified like a guru. Yeah. Okay, that's that for gossiping. I am here already. The most difficult part is that to get ready. <laughs> and when I'm here already, I'm awake. <laughs> I feel better now. I feel more awake now than when I first came. Huh? Yeah, I thought, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, in my state of, of being this morning, I wanted to wake myself up, truly. I did put alarm clock and everything. I did get up okay, right? I went to try to be a normal. <laughs> I even make a toast, some toast, and then I thought I have some toast to come, you know, stomach. I didn't feel too well these days. And then I make one toast, I burn one toast. I make another toast, I burn another toast. I make another one, third one, burn. Four toasts, all burnt, beyond <laughs> recognition. I said, okay, today is not my toast day. <laughs> and then I just grab whatever, you know, and drink, try to make a tea, but then I forgot. I put tea, but I forgot to drink. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a new, new place I've been moving, you know, and very messy and tiring and chaotic because I had no time to organize my stuff yet. And I'm afraid to ask anyone to help. <laughs> because sometimes when I ask them to help, <laughs> I better do it myself. Uh, or I have to take some other garbage <laughs> from them instead, and it, it, it just doesn't pay. Therefore, yeah, I feel like <laughs> surrounded with <laughs> material things. I wish my destiny is a little lighter than mine right now, you know, like being a uh, Baba, Babu, or whatever, or Matachi in India even, and just sit there and hugging people, rubbing their head, and that's all I had to do. <laughs> My destiny in this lifetime, alas, is so complicated. Too much work, too difficult, <laughs> too little time, too complicated. And I thought I left home, you know, then my life would be, you know, like a her, a her, very simple. Yeah, two, three pair of clothes, that's all you have to do. You don't even have to comb your hair. <laughs> yeah, having hair is another problem, you know, you have to have to put oil on or something. Otherwise, it goes bzz, bzz, like that. <laughs> and have to design the jewelry. I thought I'm there already, but I'm not yet there. So. Very difficult sometimes for me to stay on this planet. Very difficult. More difficult than you think. I say, there's no more place. Tickets sold out. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> huh? Pick a soda you like? 
Yeah, yeah. Every week is sold out. <laughs> Lucky I'm not a dancer or singer or something. Otherwise, every boy, other artist dancing, uh, singing, maybe just uh, probably had to find another job. <laughs> How long can you stay with your visa? I know, but how long is your visa one, allowed? One month. One month? Oh, not bad. And how long you you allow me to stay in India if I go there? British passport. One month. One month? <laughs> oh, yeah, equal. <laughs> yeah, before we used to have like six months, huh? And then can extend to one year, long time ago, when I was uh, a little yogi somewhere. <laughs> and now it's... Uh, Difficult, huh? You yeah, have to go to embassy, get visa before you just go landing visa or something. Actually, many people can stay if they want to. Nowadays, it's difficult. That was because of some incidents, you know, like some foreigners came and abused the kindness of the Indian people. Because Indian people are very hospitable, you know. Even if they don't have much, they give everything. They give you everything that you need. So the government kind of tried to stop this kind of uh, mis misuse. <laughs> I, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. The thing is, uh, maybe the foreigners did not really want to misuse their kindness. It's just they did not understand the tradition of India because they are given and given and given, and they thought, oh, that's okay, they love to give, and they still have, that's why they can give. But it's not true, it's not true. Mm. It's like sometimes, uh, like I keep giving and people think <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> and sometimes it's true, sometimes not, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, I love to give anyway, whenever necessary. Yeah, yes. The Indian people, they just give, <laughs> necessary or not, they treat you like God. It's tradition like that, and it's still like that. It's still like that in India. Mm. So many of your Indian brothers and sisters keep asking me to go to India. So I, how do I say, go there, stay one month, and then fly out and come back, go back, forth, back, forth, like that? Yeah? You're not sure, Master. Huh? We are not sure how long you could stay with British passport. Maybe we can take... Maybe three months maximum, no? I remember a long time ago, I went back to... because I was invited to Pune or somewhere, I forgot. I think they give you three months, but you have to have a visa. You have to go and apply for visa. Yeah, even three months is not a lot, huh? I just uh, sit for a few, a uh, few like I sit in for a few hours, and then it's three months already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it takes. It doesn't take long. Time passes so quickly. Yeah, like every day, I feel like I have not even slept yet. It's already sunrise. <laughs> yeah, and then I have not even do, done anything yet. It's sunset already. For example, like that. In this world, we have trouble with uh, the timing, yeah, time. It makes us grow old, make us uh, worry about deadline, about payment, about going to work on time, about going to school on time, everything. It's time, time, time. It gives pressure a lot. And I really admire you that you even can work raise a family and meditate and come here for Sunday or two, three weeks. I don't know if you are superhuman or, <laughs> or what. <laughs> it's truly very, very good of you. Mm. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm not very proud of myself <laughs> because <laughs> I also have a artist, artist, uh, tendency, you know, in my, in my being. And, uh, sometimes uh, the artists get a better of me, you know, I prefer to go out somewhere, take photograph, <laughs> some video or something, instead of come here, see you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, today I'm here. Huh? It's good, it's good. And I don't feel like I'm a good dog caretaker either. Before, I used to have them, all of them, around me. Nowadays, I can only take care of two maximum at the time, two or three. Uh, if more, I will feel easily, you know, uh, tired yeah, or uh, trouble, frowning, <laughs> get older quicker with children. <laughs> I just have to let them take turn, you know, like at night who is who, <laughs> and morning who is who, and afternoon who is who, yeah, like that, and then they rotate. It's not too bad, better than, uh, better than nothing, I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> that's, I, I do all I can, but that's all I can. <laughs> There's a joke about a restaurant outside, you know, they say, eat all you can for five dollars, yeah? You know, uh, many of them in America or Europe, I'm not sure Europe has, but America has had a lot of... Uh, when I was there, there, I saw a lot of them. <laughs> and there's a joke about one uh, a restaurant, it's, it's written outside, eat all you can, five dollars. And then the guy come in and eat, 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 and then he come and get more, and then the, the owner came out and stopped him. He said, no, no more. He said, what you have written outside, he said, eat all you can for five dollars. And the owner said, that's all you can eat. <laughs> it's all you can. That's all you can eat. <laughs> Okay, we continue with the Lord Mahavira half a story last time. Okay, the merchant uh, has, uh, was moved to see her plight and saw that she was a kind of a, a noble spirited girl. She was not like a, a you know, a low class or unbecoming or something like that. So he he said, child, I am merchant Danava. I am a follower of uh, Nigran shamans and live in this town. Looking at your troubles, I feel depressed. If you do not wish to go with the courtesan, I will not allow this to, to happen. Uh, I will buy you by paying a hundred thousand gold pieces. Would you come with me? Would you live with me as my daughter? So, of course, an orphan princess sold as a slave arrived at the house of merchant Danava. But his wife, again, <laughs> another one, Mula, his wife, Mula, became doubtful as soon as she saw the divinely beautiful girl entering her household. Yeah, I promised myself to look at the boys, and <laughs> I tried to do it today. I always look this way, not fair. <laughs> but, uh, mm. <laughs> the moment Mula, you know, the wife, set her eyes on Vasumati, she saw a rival for the favors of her husband. Son were the seeds of doubt, even for her upright man. Yes. Normally she trusted him as an upright man and husband, faithful husband, but now she saw such a beautiful girl entering her place, she doubted even him. She doubted even him. She thought maybe uh, her beauty has enchanted her husband. It's possible. Yeah, it's possible because a man loves beauty. I also love beauty. <laughs> I'm not a man, but I love every beautiful thing. I went out and see all the flowers, and I said, oh, you are so beautiful. I will capture you in this camera, and you will be immortal. You like that? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and today all the birds came and Somehow they sing so much beautiful songs. I haven't seen it ever since I came here, just today. They sing so loud, so loud, and so happy, happy. 
I thought they loved to eat something. I put out some bread, they didn't eat it. They just keep singing. <laughs> I haven't seen that even in Sihu. There's so many birds gathered together, you know. Every little twig they have birds, have birds on it, and they're singing, singing so happily, so happily today. Yeah, that wakes me up a little bit more. <laughs> mm. So I thank them. Huh? Mm. Hearted viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled "The Life of Lord Mahavira." Continue fasting to rescue Chandana, Part One of Five on Between Master and Disciples.